ito ang mga paraan paano mag uh, start ano ang mga klase ng pwede nating start today business models uh, ang sin- tinatanong niya is uh, paano paano ako magsisimula ng isang online business so nasasagot siya ng business models business models is a mechanism that you should create so that your business can get revenues or profit from your customers um i've listed five basic ones here uh, i will discuss them one by one I'm using examples of my uh, current websites and some of the ventures that I did in the past and uh, currently operating now. So let's go uh, to the five uh, business models for you. First is own. Own product, own store. Uh, You sell on your own site uh, original products or services you produce. So... um, for example, if you have a meat processing side business, so nagagawa kayo, for example, longganisa, kusino, uh, you produce that original business, original product, you create an online store, uh, like uh, create a Facebook page, an Instagram page, take pictures, and then sell it immediately on the, that social media pages. Or if you have... Uh, Business registration, you can enlist with Lazada or Shopee, Carousel, and create an online store de- there. Sell the products you're selling. Uh, or in our example, meat products, for example. If non-perishable naman, if you're selling, for example, shoes, uh, if you, you're creating slippers, something like that, uh, create an online page, online e- e-commerce store, uh, Mentioned a while ago, may apat na options tayo. So, you, you can start there. Now, um, what are the sources of products that uh, originally kayo ang nagagawa, nagsusupply? Uh, it could be your family business. If you have an existing family business or may existing uh, business, uh, some relatives, you can use that as your own product. If you have a hobby, Maybe you create handicrafts, uh, jewelry, uh, accessories. That's one uh, way to uh, to own a product and sell it to uh, online channels. Uh, if you have an invention, uh, that's one use. Though it's very difficult to own that, but uh, that's a good way to uh, start an online business. So, uh, this is an example of a website that I own. Uh, this is in partnership with University of the Philippines, Open University. So, here uh, I host webinars like this one. So, I create uh, class, uh, online classrooms uh, for uh, my entrepreneurship classes. So, uh, I'm selling on this uh, platform, this website, um, ebooks. So, uh, because I'm teaching uh, in University of the Philippines, I have a little bit of expertise in creating um, digital products such as electronic books. So, uh, I need to write something and then have it formatted as PDF uh, and then other e-book, uh, e-reader formats. And I post that in the website and sell that. So uh, in my example, in this website, you can see the business counselor's workshop in PDF format or in Prezi format. Uh, it's one thousand. It's priced one thousand. Uh, this business counselor workshop uh, was made for uh, the DTI counselors in negotiation centers around the Philippines. So uh, I've been selling the program and the ebook. So uh, apparently I'm gaining some uh, a few sales for this. So this is an example of an own product. So I own uh, I own this. I own the property rights and the the, the copyright. So I I'm selling 
for a price. So, kung may hobby kayo, meron kayong uh, may talent kayo, think of a prod- byproduct of that talent and then use that as a product that you can sell online. Uh, own services. Uh, you can uh, offer services uh, via online means. So if you have a hobby, if you're good at graphic design, for example, if you encode uh, at a fast rate at the nor- as compared to the normal people, you can offer that skill. If you had talent, animation, or any talent whatsoever, you can use that service uh, uh, as a product for your online business. So uh, an example is a personal website of mine rmnisperos.com so i use my uh, website to uh, get clients for my uh, training and workshops and then uh, training workshops uh, consultancy i use that as a way to contact me and then uh, offer the service so without this e-commerce with uh, without this electronic store i won't able to get clients Okay, uh, the first, uh, the one thing I've learned through the years and with, with, all the, with all the experience teaching online business in UP, uh, I've realized that you uh, are a business um, and not as an employee. Uh, in business, the most important foundation is the entrepreneur and not the business idea or the resources or whatever technology that they may that they may have in in, in today's world uh hindi po enough na empleyado lang po tayo no, sa ating mga kumpanya na pinagtatrabahuhan uh, meron po tayong other talent other skill that we can use as a business uh, like uh a typical uh, office worker, kapag meron siyang free time, um, he can create something out of his talent and then use that byproduct as uh, a way to get sales. Um, and the good thing in online business is that hindi nyo kailangan 24-7 magbantay sa business. Uh, you just need uh, a little bit of management in terms of um, um, checking your email for uh, sales or your Facebook page for sales. Ganun lang siya kadali. You don't need to uh, go to an office and uh, quit your job. Hindi po. Uh, you can have an online business uh, as uh, a second career or a, a side uh, business. And po natutunan ko over the years. Now, uh, I've lots of students who are office workers, OFWs, who are starting their online business uh, in parallel with uh, uh, them being an employee or uh, as employees. So I have uh, students na... Uh, Nagkatrabaho as programmers uh, overseas and then they create an uh, uh, online personal website wherein they accept small projects, something like that. Or um, I have students who have a talent in fashion. Uh, they would design clothes. They would have them uh, tailored, fitted for a certain uh, market segment and they would sell that um on weekends so they post the pictures instagram on saturdays and get um or pre-orders or orders to the week so uh sa online business po ito po yung siguro pinakamalaking lesson na may bibigay ko is that online business and your employment are not a uh, separate entity uh wherein kailangan nyo mag-resign sa business or sa mga 
current na trabaho nyo para lang mag-start ng online business? Hindi po. You can start online business even if you are working. And then, um, mas mag, ang, criteria ko, ang criteria po na lagi pong sinasabi sa mga students and then other clients is that uh, kay, kailangan, kay, kailan ka mag, mag quit ng employment para sa business. Uh, the main criteria lang naman po is that if your business is getting profit or kita, hindi po benta lang po ito kita. Ibabinus nyo na po yung mga ginastos. Yung kita nyo mas malaki sa sweldo nyo na tinatanggap buwan-buwan, then mas maganda po itutuloy na lang yung online business. But if you're not getting the same amount of uh, uh, revenue stream from your online business as compared to your current employment, just continue operating it uh, and then improving your business. Ganun lang po siya. Alright. Uh, ito po, uh, some of examples uh, that I've been uh, using uh, e-commerce uh, for me to get additional revenue stream. So, uh, I do business consult. Um, so, that's own business model in online business. So, mga lahat ng pag-aari nyo, talento, uh, produkto ng pamilya, or something na ginagawa nyo on your, your free time, you can use that as a way to start an online business. So, what if? What if? Wala naman po tayong ganong original na product kung ginagawa or wala tayong uh, skill na tingin natin may ibebenta natin sa sa market sa Philippines you can uh, be a reseller so a reseller is you sell other merchants products uh, you store inventory tatago nyo po siya sa bahay nyo or an uh, inventory warehouse and then kapag may order sa inyo send nyo lang po, po yung uh, isend nyo yung binili nila uh, via third party uh, logistics or couriers. Ito na lang po siya. So parang mag-aangkat po kayo somewhere sa Palengke, sa Divisoria or um, uh, kung saan mang supplier. Tingin nyo may magandang produkto para i-benta i and then try to offer that supplies, that products sa family, friends, initially, and then the closest circle of friends, and then to other markets, other people within your town, your barangay, or your, your municipality. Ganun lang po siya. Ito po yung typical na ginagawa po ng mga e-commerce or online business sellers na nakikita po natin sa Facebook, sa Instagram, they resell. Though, uh, ang medyo mahirap lang po is that nagalagay lang po tayo ng markup or patong. Patong sa mga uh, binibili, inaangkat po natin produkto para maibenta sa ibang tao. Unlike dun sa kanina po, you own the product, originally kayo yung gumawa. Like uh, yung example ko po kanina, meat products, for example. Kapag from scratch, gumagawa po kayo ng longganisa or nagmamanufacture kayo ng sabon, for example, or dishwashing liquid. From start ng pag-produce hanggang maibenta, mas malaki yung kikitain nyo. As compared na bibili, bibili kayo ng gawa na, na dishwashing liquid, sabon, or meat products, medyo mahal uh, pagbili ng mga ganong items and then papatungan nyo lang. So medyo maliit ang kita. But, it's a valid way to start an online business. Um, some examples, ito po actual, uh, it's uh, my, no, uh, it's our online uh, store for uh, uh, swimwear. Uh, this is in collaboration with my sister. Uh, she sell items uh, from China custom-made swimwear for yoga enthusiasts. Um, uh, she sell this um, bikinis and uh, swim 
somewhere to specific people who like uh, yoga. So nagpapagawa po sa China, ini-import papunta uh, dito and then in the United States. Kung mapapansin nyo, mayroong United States logo. Um, binibenta po nyo yan sa US. And then may markup na lang, dun siya kumikita. Ito po. Uh, sample of, of one example. Do medyo uh, international ang um, kanyang target market, hindi po Philippines. So, uh, we discussed the first two owned products. You use that to build your online store. You are a reseller. You buy items and then resell it. On affiliate, the third business model is you just promote other merchants' products and earn commission on sale from your site. Uh, you don't have, you don't need to purchase something from a supplier. You just need to promote. Ngayon, uh, um, the, the perfect example, an actual example of an affiliate uh, business setup, online business, is through Lazada, Lazada, um, Lazada affiliate uh, marketing. So, ang ginagawa po ng Lazada is if you have a website, uh, you they, Lazada would give you uh, specific links or codes na ilalagay niyo po sa website. Pag nilagay niyo po sa website, yun lalabas ang specific na products na, na pwede niyong ibenta. Pero kapag kinlik po nila yon yung mga parang binibenta nyo po doon, mapupunta siya sa special page sa Lazada. Ngayon, paano po kumikita dito? Ito po, um, browser commission uh, and app commission tracking. So, itatrack po ni Lazada if yung bumili sa Lazada application, website man or mobile app, is nanggaling ba sa website mo or sa application mo. So, kung ako... Uh, nalaman ko yung isang produkto ng Lazada sa website ng isang sa website mo for example uh, pag click ko doon mapupunta sa Lazada pag binili ang kikitain ng kung sino man ang may affiliate uh, marketing website is uh, uh, is uh, examples lang po dito uh, just browse the Lazada affiliate program link. Um, the commission rates, kanyari po, watch or sunglasses or jewelry bumili sa Lazada. And yung customer po ng Lazada nanggaling sa website nyo uh, bago siya bumili. Ngayon, if for example, uh, 1,000 pesos yung item, uh, let's say jewelry for example, 1,000 pesos bumili yung uh, bumili yung customer ng Lazada 7.5% ng selling price ay mapupunta po doon sa affiliate or yung nag-promote ng produkto so for 1000 you'll be getting 75 pesos by just promoting so ano po ang puhunan dito ang puhunan lang po is may website kayo so kailangan you have your own website uh, and then uh, you need to have an account with Lazada. Ganun lang po siya kasimple. And then, obviously, kailangan magaling po kayo maggawa ng articles or promotions about the products of Lazada. So, ganyan lang po kasimple. Before, uh, I, I did uh, affiliate marketing for Lazada. So, yung rmnisperos.com uh, used to be an affiliate uh, website hosting Lazada items. So uh, uh, I tried to 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 sell uh, indirectly. Hindi naman po siya direct benta. So I, I'm talking about business. And then yung business, uh, kunyari po, business books. Uh, and then some uh, products about training, about workshops. May mga ganun po. Minsan meron pong nagkiklik. Um, and then uh, ito po, may kita nyo po uh, around... May fashion, bags, travel, uh, and other items. Um, though medyo difficult po yung app kasi kailangan meron po kayong mobile app that would link 
uh, your customers or viewers of your app to the Lazada app. Natatrack po nila yon So, mas malaki but it's more difficult as compared to the web option or the website option. So, dito po, ang puhunan lang po dito is the website. If you be uh, requirements po na Lazada is you have your own domain. So, kailangan, kunyari, for example, uh, meron kayong .com domain, uh, klm.com.ph, for example. And then, you create a website. How much is the domain? Uh, if .ph is around 1,500 per year, kapag .com, it's around 500 to 700, depending on doon sa um, domain registration service na pipiliin nyo. Usually, 700. And then, uh, you need to pay for a server or hosting provider. Um, there are options uh, as low as 500 or no, 2,000 per year. Per year. Um, and then, mayroong around 50 per month. So, uh, that's 600. No limited lang yung disk space niya as compared to the costlier option. So, so meron ka ng 700 domain, uh, let's say 600. Uh, 600 yung website hosting or server. So, from that, meron 1,200, you can create the website. And then, uh, usually naman kapag sa mga... So, online server, meron silang automatic installers doon ng open source software. Open source software meaning walang bayad gamitin yung, yung software. Um, I've been using on open source software for quite some time. Uh, WordPress yung pangalan ng, ng application. So, automatic i-install. Do kailangan nilang mag-edit. Maglagay ng picture, maglagay ng um, articles, mag- sulatan nyo yung mga descriptions but you can uh, use your own time your own talent without even paying for someone so can you, you you can use that so i think you can start an affiliate uh, business uh, or a affiliate business as an online business model uh, as low as we'll say natin 1500 per year uh, though very difficult to mag promote because uh, you have competition with other uh, website owners. But uh, the challenge is worth it. Uh, 7.5% sales or commission per sale if you can promote Lazada products. Hindi, hindi po lahat ng produkto ng Lazada iyo offer po dito. So, kailangan may theme po yung, ano nyo, yung website. So, kunyari, uh, more on, ano kayo, uh, jewelry-based uh, website. Nag-review kayo ng jewelry, for example, or makeup. Uh, Siyempre, yung pinitindan nyo rin, yung isipang post nyo na produkto ng Lazada related to your topic. Uh, in our example, yeah, jewelry, fashion, uh, um, business, for example, maraming anything uh, connected para hindi po ganun kalaki yung ah, uh, mga assorted yung mga nandun. Maganda po, clear cut yung message kasi ang pinatarget po ng isang website as ay specific people na may same interest, same behavior, same characteristics. So if you're good at fashion, tell stories about fashion, promote uh, fashion products uh, from Lazada and get um, get commissions in return. Okay, so that's the third option, affiliates. Um, my fourth option for you guys is still uh, having your own website uh, similar to affiliates though different ang, uh, ang way to earn so you earn from ad advert advertisements. Uh, you earn fees from advertisements from uh, Google. So kapag meron kayong articles on your website like this one, this is article I written 2012 pa. So makikita nyo po dito merong part, a full part-time degree program, 19 Cloud Security Report. Makikita nyo po, these are ads 
posted by Google. Not, uh, not that's not from me. So may pinipaste lang po dito ng code, and then automatic maglalabas ng ad depending sa topic. Since my topic is about business, uh, about master's program, so they are um, showing ads related to um, degree programs such as this one. Scrolling down, scroll down natin yung similar or the same same article on my blog, on my personal website. So may kita nyo po dito, this one, the EC Council University is also an ad from Google. And the one here uh, on, on the right side is also an ad from Google. So ano po ang kinikita natin dito? Uh, ito po actual, um, just screenshot this a while ago. Uh, so uh, my website earned me for a specific period $87.89. So that's around $4,000, I think. Uh, so it, it's based on page views, uh, based on impression. This is uh, based on the article that I mentioned a while ago. Ngayon po. Uh, may kita nyo po dito. Uh, it can earn uh, without you doing anything. Just need to uh, write something interesting and then people would view that. And for any views, any clicks on the ad, magkakaroon po tayo ng kita. Ganyan po. So, uh, if you happen to have uh, a website, you can pursue both affiliate marketing and advertising through Google Ads uh, as two ways to monetize your online business. Uh, siyempre po, meron po tayo mga articles doon, may mga videos. You can use that to, to earn. And last, last option uh, for you to start an online business is uh, similar to the reselling option. Uh, so the reselling, bibili po kayo ng produkto, tatago nyo yung produkto, kapag may bumili, ipapadala nyo po sa kanila. Ang dropship, similar sa reselling, ang difference lang is hindi nyo may agreement lang ang supplier at yung business owner. Ang mangyayari po is kapag may umorder na customer dun sa online business, ang gagawin po ng online business, ina-notify si supplier yung supplier na ang magpapadala sa customer. So, um, yeah. tignan natin yung nangyari. So, uh, first, customer mag-order, for example, 2,000 at 100, order sa, sa, sa online store, website, or social media page. And then, may, may mga applications po dito sa so dropshipping na pino-forward yung order sa manufacturer or dropshipper, ipapadala niya directly sa customer. The traditional uh, way to do business is uh, bibili ka muna sa manufacturer ng product and then kayo po magpapadala. With dropshipping, yung manufacturer po ang magpapadala. So example, uh, so this is uh, a website. Uh, it was created... Uh, uh, without any, uh, just for fun, uh, because I bought the domain. This is my uh, daughter. So, binili ko po yung pangalan po niya na domain. So, RemielSurin.com, pangalan po niya. Ni-register ko lang. And then, try to do dropshipping. So, uh, nagtitinda po ng baby toys and clothes. Ang nangyari po dito is, uh, I... We are offering the products only to uh, Canada and US. So, yung website po na to, mayroong application sa loob. Kapag may nag-order ng, for example, baby clothes, automatic manonotify yung supplier na nasa China. So, ang nangyari, ang gagawin ng Chinese supplier, ipapackage siya yung item sa plain carton box. Uh, and then, lalagyan niya ng sticker ng logo ng website na to, yung raymielsherin.com. And then, ipapadala niya sa uh, China, uh, sa US, sorry, from China. 
um, the item here um, cost around fifty dollars yung selling price ng mga items nandito sa sa website na to sa remilserin.com around fifty dollars thirty to fifty dollars so around to fifty dollars mga two five ang cost ng item uh, sa China around ten dollars um, yung yung shipping para uh, it differs from uh, state to state but I think the average uh, siguro mga around five dollars so from uh twenty five dollars worth two five in pesos in Philippine pesos ang cost lang to uh ang cost ng item tsaka shipping is around one five so kada item kumikita ng one thousand uh, not bad or something na hindi mo naman hinahawakan yung produkto yeah. so that is uh Business models. So, yun po yung mga basic ways to start an online business. Uh, from own products, you resell products, you become an affiliate if you don't have a product or products. Uh, if you really don't want to sell, you just want to write and create ads. Yan. Uh, create content. I use that to attract people and then... Uh, and then show ads to gain profit, gain uh, uh, income. And then lastly, drop ship. Drop shipping is like reseller, but may special agreement between supplier and uh, the business. 